Hey y'all, this is Church from Church's Intake. So let's get into the reading of his word. We're gonna go from Malachi chapter two, uh, seven, verse 17, chapter three, verse one through five. And it's uh, the, nearer, the near approach of judgment day. And uh, you're going to find out who's going to get judged. And it's really not the, it's, it's actually judgment for the people that's doing wicked things. That's why the wicked ones are so scared right now. Got people out here <laughs> buying land and, and making bunkers. <laughs> yeah, the rich shall fall, the wicked ones. Not everyone that's rich is wicked. That's the truth. So let's get into the reading of the word. Ye have wearied the Lord with your words. Yet ye say, wherein have we wearied him? When ye say, everyone that doeth evil is good, in the sight of the Lord, and he delighteth in them, or where is the Lord, where is, is the God of judgment? Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord who ye speak, who ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts, but who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fillers, fillers soap, and he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the son of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering of righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord as in the days of old and as in former years and i will come near to you to judgment and i will be a, a swift witness against the scorners and against the adulterers and against false swearers and against those that oppress and hiring in his wages the widow and the false, the fatherless, and that turn aside the straight, the strangers from his right, and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. God bless the reading of his word. So yeah, God's coming for the wrath of uh, many that's doing wicked things and evil. The, the, the sorcerers, which are people that deal in witchcraft and you know, dealing in these secret societies and uh, doing all of these wicked, evil, um, you know, uh, occult-like things. Like, um, you know, they do, um, what is it called? Like, they do uh, sacrifices and stuff like that. And then you have to do certain things especially in the elites, especially being um, one of these people, you know, a lot of these famous people, you know, they have to do certain things in these occults that they abide in, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and they're all wicked type things. And like, you got the Boule, you got the Freemasons, you know what I mean? You got the Skull and Bones. You can keep on going down the list with all of those type of people, like, that do a lot of wicked things. And then you do got witches and warlocks, you know what I mean? Sorcerers, that's why he says it, you know? And people that, like, even the people that try to keep you down, like, 
say it, your job's trying to keep you down from progressing because maybe you a child of God and they know it, you know what I mean? It's, they can sense your spirit, you know what I'm saying? They can know that you have a light on you. So they'll try to keep you down even in your, your nine to five type of job. And these are people that work for the devil, you know what I mean? These are his minions that's trying to keep, you know, you oppressed and stuff like that. So God's going to even get at them. He's going to get at all of these wicked people that are doing evil things to the people that, you know, follow Christ because obviously they don't want you to come up, you know what I mean? They want to keep you stagnated and down. They want to keep you in oppression. They want to keep you in lack. They want you to, to they don't want you to have the faith in God that will, you know, have you uplifted, you know what I mean? They want you to be in this low vibrational um, scarcity mindset and God's going to judge all these people. And he's like, who's going to be with me when I come back from my people? You know what I mean? The righteous ones, the ones that's trying to uplift and show and love and care to others. You know what I'm saying? Like he's, he wants us to be more like he was. And how are you more like Christ? You're more like Christ by showing love to one another, embracing, uplifting one another encouraging one another helping when you can if you can't help you know you praying for one another not in no evil tense you know what i mean you're just praying for you know them to have peace and prosperity not like the prosperity like you know that everybody's searching for like yo god gotta give me this that and the third like no like you you're, you're gonna pray for the next man's prosperity not even just your prosperity you're gonna pray for the next person and God sees that in your heart, that you got a good heart posture, that you're trying to help these people out, even though people are trying to condemn you and, and call you wicked for, for doing what you're doing, especially when you're following Christ, they're going to call you wicked. They're going to say, oh, you're different. You done changed, but you know, all you did was change for the better. You didn't change for no evilness. You don't want evil to be around you. You don't want gossipers around you. You don't want wicked people around you. A lot of you people don't even do wicked things like that. But there's a lot of people that do a lot of wicked stuff. And God is enlightening you. It's like if you're an empath, it's like the empath versus the, the narcissist in that sense. Because a narcissist is basically that type of person is here to kill, steal, and destroy. Which would be the seed of the devil. And an empath is more like a person that's willing to help, willing to show love, willing to show, you know, peace that there's another way of doing things. And that's more of God's children. And that's why he says the people that show love will be able to see me, be able to see my face, seek me and, and, and be able to, I'm with them. And the, these other ones he's not with. And a lot of these people are taking positions in the body of Christ, even in your workplace that they're there to stop you, stagnate you, and block you. Some of these people are hard to even kill you, to stop you from your progressions. And you can't be caught up in, in all of that, that foolery. Like, God wants you to separate from these type of folk because they're not really out for your, your best doing. Because if they was there for your best doing, they would be there for you throughout your whole life. You know what I mean? Trying to better you, not trying to used you if they were out here trying to better you obviously they would try to be working you towards more to getting towards closer to christ and learning the ways of living the righteous way and a lot of these people trying to take shortcuts and god's going to get them type people too not that you took a shortcut your whole way like you was leading the straight and narrow way and then all of a sudden you couldn't wait on christ anymore so you did another way the way of the carnal mindset thinking person like oh why don't you just do this do this shortcut like stop these people since they try to stop you and it's like god don't want you to work like that because that's working in iniquity god wants you to be on the straight and narrow he wants you to show love even though they're not showing love he wants you to show love and then put your boundaries up if that needs to be the case but he don't want you to go do evil for evil you know what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of people are like, oh, since they've been they've been keeping me down, kicking me down. You know, a lot of people in your jobs, you know what I mean? A lot of people on, at your nine to five be like, oh, man, it took me three or four years to get to where I needed to get to. This young blood coming up in here, it only taking him like eight, nine months to get my pay. 
and they be mad about that and that's not that's not of god anyway and so they're gonna try to stop you stagnate you or try to put you know a lot of pressure on you like oh look i ain't even gonna help this person out or i ain't gonna do this for that person i ain't gonna tell them this or that and god judges these type of folk in all your jobs there's these folk like that and a lot of these old heads don't like when young heads is coming up but they don't understand that these young heads got more knowledge and understanding to the things that they dealing with in their job sense because the, the the technology that they 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 born with it's like yo my when my kid was born she had an ipad like from the beginning so why wouldn't she be you know tech savvy and a lot of these old heads don't get that like it took them two three years to get to where they got to because they wasn't tech savvy enough but the young blood he might have needed to learn, say like he was a mechanic or something. He might have didn't need to learn how to use his wrenches and ratchets and stuff. But the technology portion of it, like if he was to do, like work on the computer base and to be able to put his tickets in and, and do his maintenance programming and stuff like that. Like he's got that to the 10th level compared to this old head that's just, he's used, yeah, he can build and he can, you know what I mean? But god wants us to work together he wants you each one to teach one help lift another one up and a lot of these old heads get mad at that like oh he should have to wait like i waited and that's not god that's not of god and that means you got hate in your hate in your heart and pride you're a prideful type of person so be ready to lift these young bloods up man a lot of these old heads ain't helping out these youngsters out here but we as a people, you know what I mean? Like I used to see these old heads and I used to think, you know, like an old head gonna help me out. But I knew I was getting more judged by the old head. That's my own skin color. Yeah, my own people more so than a, the person from another race, which was crazy to me. And that's how I know, you know what I mean? The book of Deuteronomy is like, yo, we gonna always fight one another. And that is the case. And we out here supposed to help each other you are supposed to help these young bloods because these young bloods is going to have a hard time in the near future you know what i mean because they're more tech savvy but they're not hands-on and we gotta embed this stuff in them to get them more hands-on with things and also show them that christ is the way and stop relying on all of this political crap uh politicians all of these superstars athletes and actresses and following their ways that's the way of the world we ain't supposed to follow the way of the world we're supposed to follow the way of god and we need more people that's of god that can help uplift these young brothers the right way and they got god within so they don't have that type of pride to help young bloods that need to be helped because there's a lot of these youngsters that need help and i'm actually one of them that can help these young bloods i'm willing to help a young blood over an old head any day because I know that the old head is more at his back nine. Yeah, I will help an old head, but I'm more willing to help these youngsters because they're going to have a harder time than a lot of these old heads that's already put in 20, 30 years at their job. They just in there for money gains and, and, and trying to build up their 401k. But yeah, that's going down to, I'm just saying, that's just, you know, I mean, we got to have a crazy recession that, you know, the crash happened before in 08, but this is going to be crazier. But that's not that's not on this discussion. We need to help one another. And God's about to take down the wicked in all aspects, from the government to the church to the people. You know what I'm saying? So subscribe to Church's Intake. God bless y'all. The wicked's going down.